there, Clark, is an RV. Okay, my battery's running that dead, so I uh, just want to catch this on video real quick. I uh, took the, uh, starting to take the uh, handlebars apart here so I can put the risers on. Got all the bike apart. And uh, that's where I am right now. So I'll post a video later showing the uh, risers once they're installed. Okay, um, got the grips installed, got the bar risers on. Um, right here on the, uh, on the grips, I had to cut those back a little bit. Um, I got the adventure version of these, so they're the longest ones in the in the line. Uh, and I had to cut it on this side to keep the throttle from from uh, bunching up. So uh, I cut it the same length on this side to match, and there's a little bit of a gap. Uh, you'll see when I put the bar ends back on between the uh, the bar end and the grip itself, just a little bit of a gap, but that's all right. Still gonna look pretty good. Side of the mount, the uh, switch for the hot grips right here and uh getting ready to run the wiring i am going to switch the battery the battery was put in backwards at the fact at the uh, dealership so i'm going to fix that rewire everything and then uh go for test drive eventually maybe tomorrow morning by the time i get done so all right it's about seven o'clock at night, Saturday. Finally got this thing done. Bars are on. Uh, I'll put back together. Grips are on. Uh, everything seems to be working. There we go. All right, time for a test ride. Ready then. I honestly don't think I've ever had the KLR out at night. So I'm having a hard time putting the tank back on for some reason. This time, I'm not really sure why. All right. Everything seems to be running pretty good after taking it all apart. Happy about that. The, uh... Instructions said to wait 24 hours before uh, turning on the heated grips. I checked them just to make sure they were warming up. And uh, as I was messing around with the left grip here, uh, the super glue broke free, so I had to re super glue it. And I did have to trim down some of the rubber on the end of the, uh, of the grips. I bought the adventure versions, so those are the longest ones they make. And um, they have these rings on the end, outside where you can cut uh, some of the length off. And cutting just the first ring didn't do it. Uh, kept bunching up and fouling the throttle, so I had to cut it to the second ring. And it's a little shorter than I like, but uh, it, it, it's really not consequential. It's just me being anal retentive. So I cut the other one to match it. That's all she wrote. That's the end of the uh, first ever nighttime moto vlog. That's it. Today is a Sunday. I just got done watching the Eagles play, and I am out and about uh, trying to find the right position for these handlebars. I uh, right before I came out here, I adjusted them a bit, uh, moved the risers. Apparently, there's a well, not apparently there is. A, the new risers give you a heck of an amount of adjustment. 
uh, that, that you can apply to the handlebars here. So, uh, so you can really apply a lot of different uh, set, you know, positions on this. So I moved the uh, the risers back towards me, which brought the bars up. Uh, so now they're really high, and uh, I'm just trying to find the right position. I think my wrists are higher than my elbows now, which will eventually probably make my hands fall asleep. So I think what I want to do is I want to go forward a little bit again and then tilt the bars back with using this setting here. I've never been this far back in this neighborhood. But anyway, I'm going to find a place to stop. I bought my socket, or my ratchet, and my uh, Allen socket with me. So I'm going to tweak these just a little bit, trying to find the right spot. Alright. Pull into this park up here and uh, pull around with these handlebars a little bit, see if I can get it just the way I like it. I also notice the position I'm in right now, um, if I go hard over to the left, like to lock the, the steering column, on this, call it the steering column, but lock the, you know, forks. Uh, it does pull the uh, ignition cable and uh, some of the other wires just a little bit too tight for my liking. So I'll check that too. much just a little bit Here we go. I would tear off down that trail but it's a walking trail so that would not be well received Probably gonna get in the way. Okay. Now, let's see if I can move that up a little bit. Just tiny micro adjustments here for now. If you don't ever have one of these, this is a, I'm sure you guys probably know, but I love these wobblers for the ratchets, really, especially when you're dealing with Allen heads, bolts, it really allows you to get in there and make sure you get the, the thing seated right without uh, tearing everything up like this one here, see, this one's a little, a little bit of an awkward spot, I'm really having to figure out how to play with this to get it right. That boys, I think, is it. I think that's it. Okay. Sorry for all the, uh, but that's it. That was boring, but got her adjusted. I think the way I like it. I think that's good. Yeah. All right. Nice day out here at the battlefield. This is, uh, I think I've done a video here before. This is the um, Battle of Bristow Station Park. Right outside Manassas. Gloves. Now, it's time to ride. All right, so of course, with the bar riser being on, uh, I found that the clutch needs to be adjusted, so the play in the clutch needs to be adjusted. Uh, I don't think I got it quite right at the moment. I noticed I uh, took it into work, took the KLR into work uh, earlier this week. Sorry. And I uh, was having a heck of a time uh, 
getting her out of first and finding neutral. And uh, I was talking to the some of the other guys, some of the other delusionals, I guess. And uh, the subject came up of check your clutch adjustment. And then, sure enough, I think it's the I had too much play in the clutch. So uh, still have a little bit in there, a good bit in there. Um, try to get the right adjustment there and it seemed to help. So that's good. Get that going for me. And uh, like I said, it's a Sunday. Days are numbered, I think, for riding around here so I'm trying to get a few in anyway make sure I got a good peace of mind how this bike is set up before uh before it's a long time before I can ride it when the weather changes it's gonna be tough I'll tell you one thing it is nice to stand on these and really kind of lean into it and I don't have to hunch over as much Heated hand grips have turned out to be money. I use those on my morning commute. Uh, when was it? I think it was uh, on a Tuesday, Wednesday, and it was. Uh, they were awesome. And some birds. They're all hanging on that green silo. This light, I don't know. It's sketchy. People fly down this road. Eh, uh, almost. Almost. Maybe into this guy. Yep. Nice. And that's all I had to say about that. <laughs>